sir? Good afternoon, Sheda. How are you? I am fine. Okay, okay. So, what about you? Yeah, I am doing good. Thank you. Okay. So, what do you do, Shweta? I am a homemaker, and I have been working as a Hindi translator. And recently, oh. I have started a YouTube channel. Oh, okay, okay. So, it is for your channel that you want to increase your, uh, 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 you want to make your fluency better, is it? Yes, you can say, and uh, first I want to become fluent. So, uh, uh, not uh, very true. Actually, um, YouTube is a journey where uh, mm -hmm. every time when I create a video, first I need to learn that thing. So, okay. in this way, I can improve myself. I can develop myself. So, oh. YouTube is a way uh, through which I am growing. Okay. Okay. So, what do you make videos about? It's a basic English, uh, like word meaning, vocabulary. And recently, I have started uh, creating videos on uh, short um, sentences, uh, grammar-related sentences. Uh, so, did you have a chance to go through the uh, notes for today, today's session? Yes. Yes, mm. uh, it, it is related to dream. Okay. So, what comes to your mind when I say dreams? Dream, dreams can be divided into two, par, uh, two parts. Uh, one, mm. as a, a, a professional, what you want to become. So, it's a, like mm. a dream. And mm. the second dream is uh, when we sleep and we imagine something in our uh, uh, sleep. That thing is also uh, called dream. So... Mm. Mm, as far as um, I, I want to become a fluent speaker, English speaker, and I want to become independent economically. So this is my dream. And uh, as far as night dream, I haven't remember much because whatever dream I um, means I forget, forget whatever the dream I seen in at night. Whatever dreams you get during the night. You get. You get. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So. Um, uh, yeah, you rightfully divided uh, dreams into two, uh, which is good. Uh, uh, do you remember what uh, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam said about dreams? Said, dreams? Yeah, he said two things about dreams. Yes, yes. When you wake up, uh, then you, uh, you don't have to sleep. Dreams are such, uh, uh, such as that they don't, uh, they don't driven you to sleep. Dreams are like that. Okay. So he said, dream big. Dream big. Yeah, always dream big. Okay. Yes. And the second thing he said is, dreams are not what you get in your sleep. Yes. Dreams are the ones that prevent you from sleeping. Prevent you from sleeping. Yes, yes. Right. Okay. Okay. So, um, uh, 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 about uh, dreams, you said uh, your dream is to uh, become fluent in English so that uh, in turn you can teach someone else, right? Yes, yes. Okay, okay. Uh, so uh, besides that, uh, do you have any other dreams? Like, uh, do you have any financial dreams or do you have any career dreams? Uh, yes, obviously, you... sir. Uh -huh. Obviously, sir, I want to become economically independent because mm. if you want to become happy, then uh. first, if you are economically independent, then mm. you can make yourself happy. You can make your family members happy. So okay. economically independent is very important for everybody. Okay. Uh, so uh, I will give you certain key aspects. Okay. okay sir. Which uh, you, you may want to work on. Okay. okay, so sir. your mother tongue is Hindi, right? Yes, sir. Hindi. You speak uh, decent English. Okay. So any other languages you speak? Yes, I can speak Bengali. I can speak Bhojpuri. Hmm. Okay. So, so your exposure, you have exposure to so many languages, right? <laughs> but my question is. <laughs> In what language do you think? Hindi, sir. I, but mm. I want to transfer into English. And mm. I'm trying, I'm working on that. Whenever uh, um, I started thinking anything, 
I thought, Shweta, if you want to improve your English, first start uh, thinking in English. So, yeah. Uh, only then you can make your habit and English will become your um, own language. Some... Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'll teach you how to learn to think in English. Okay, sir. Okay. First thing is, uh, first thing you need to do, see, you see so many objects around you, right? In your yes. home, in the, when you go to the market or uh, when, when you visit a, a, a theater or to watch a movie or something, you see so many objects. Some objects, we always call them by their English names, right? Yes, yes. Table, chair, sofa, curtain. Yes, sir. Right? Uh, yes. You call them by their... Uh, uh, English name, yeah, like doctor, teacher, everything is in English. Hospital, all are English, uh, English, uh, words. English words. But some objects you will always call them by their Hindi names. Yes, yes. Right. For example, vegetables. Yes, yes. If you go to your vegetable seller and ask him for potatoes. He'll say what toast? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes, correct. <laughs> you might not understand what potatoes mean. Right? Yes, yes. yes. Uh, a very classical example I give most of my learners is uh, what do you use to sweep your floor? Uh, uh, wash your clothes. No, no, sweep, sweep your floor. Sweep, your, sweep floor. your clothes. Okay. No, no, Brush. Floor, floor. Floor, floor, okay. Mopping. Uh, you, uh, uh, no, sweeping. Sweeping. Yes, ah, what, yes. What do you use? Broom. Ah, that's in English. Yes, yes. Broom is in English. Call, but do you call it uh, the broom? When no, no. Yeah, when your maid servant comes. Yes, yes. Do you tell her to use the broom or uh, do you tell it in Hindi? I tell in Hindi, sir. Mm. See? So the those objects, we always call them by their Hindi names, right? So now, whenever you come across uh, such an object that you always tend to call them by their Hindi names, you name that object in English in your head. Yes. Okay. You get my point? Yes, yes, sir. I in got it. it. Yeah, it's a thinking exercise. Okay. Thinking. Then try to make a small sentence out of it. Okay, sir. Like, uh, I use... Uh, my maid uses the broom to sweep the floor. The broom helps me keep my house clean. Simple sentences. Okay. Likewise, I, I love fried potatoes. Yeah? I like potatoes in my curry. Right? So, simple sentences, you should think. Don't, don't tell it out. This is a thinking exercise, remember. Okay. Yeah, so we, we have crossed two steps now. First, naming an ob naming objects, then making small sentences. Sentences. The third is very important. Okay, that is giving a live commentary of what you are doing to yourself in English, in your head. Okay. Uh, right. So the moment you get up from bed, till the time you go back to bed, Okay, Give, keep talking to yourself in your mind only. Okay, like I've gotten up, I woken up, it's what, six o'clock. So I need to get uh, uh, breakfast ready. So before that, I need to brush my teeth. Uh, um, maybe I should uh, 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 have a cup of coffee or a cup of uh, tea first uh, to freshen myself up. Okay. Yeah? Then uh, I am. Um, uh, then you start your uh, morning chores. Your co cooking breakfast. Okay. Today for breakfast, I'm going to make uh, uh, chana patura or uh, or chapati. Chapati. And sabji. chapati. Yeah. Fried okay. potato chapati. Fried so, potato. Ah, keep telling that in your mind only. Okay. I'm making chapatis for my daughter. My my daughters love chapatis. If I make them, I make them soft. I make them tasty so that my daughters will love them. Right? Yes. So, uh, likewise, you keep talking to yourself in English, in your mind only. Don't speak out. 
if you talk aloud then people will think wrong <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. something went loose or what <laughs> <laughs> right so don't talk out and moreover this is a thinking exercise remember we are trying to learn to think in english okay so at the end of the day you are about to go to bed sit on the cot recollect your entire day in english in your mind i generally write sir um, i have a i um, recently i made a uh, habit make a habit to write something in english whatever mm. till morning to night Uh, mm. i have done what the things i have done good and what the things i need to correct it um, mm. where i have wasted my time so i write down uh, yeah that is called journaling journaling yes yes right you are journaling your day yes okay. yes and uh, you have uh, you you arrange the events in their order in which they took place right Mm-hmm. you are waking up you are having you are brushing your teeth you are having your uh, tea or coffee uh, then um, making your breakfast uh, sending your children off to uh, school and college and um, then uh, taking care of home um, any arrangements that you need to make uh, any cleaning up that you need to do um, so if you have a maid at home who comes and uh, washes your vessels and all that you should supervise her <laughs> See, see if she is doing a pro- good job. Hey, right. how did you that. know a life of a housewife, sir? <laughs> <laughs> I, I have one at home, na. <laughs> <laughs> And I used to tell her, uh, I can read you like a book. <laughs> so good. Okay, so journal all this down. And of course, like you rightly said. what I, what uh, i wasted my time on what i could have done better mm. what today what did i do that makes myself proud okay today i did this video and it it, it gives me a good feeling mm-hmm. i'm i'm being helpful to others i'm i'm being helpful to society right mm. Yeah. so recollect all that okay and if you are writing it excellent if you are writing it down that is excellent exercise to learn to think in english yes this these are the steps that you take to learn to think in english thank you okay and remember practice makes one perfect mm right yeah so yes. soon your dreams will fructify <laughs> um, yes sir and uh, i feel more uh, prob- problem is speaking so i need to speak more and more and yes. as it is said that speaking comes from speaking so i need to speak <laughs> yeah you you choose people like us no tutors uh, in clapping oh you can talk to us uh, yes, uh, what i hope to do is speaking grammatically correct is one thing grammatically correct in simple words simple sentences mm. that is one thing mm-hmm. but speaking with a sophisticated language mm-hmm. with a stylish language stylish language yeah with a little bit of flair yes yes that will make you more appealing mm. impressive yes, yes exactly you you become that much more impressive mm-hmm. okay so that is where i'm trying to bring you to okay thank you sir really um, your suggestion is quite good and um, uh, i i will definitely follow it from now <laughs> after finishing and, um, session i will definitely follow uh, uh, one thing i want to give you right away uh, one feedback i want to give you right away is i um see there is there are different centers in the brain for different functions right mm, right right uh, and uh, the, for men uh, okay we have only one center to process language okay okay so an average male speaks about 1000 to 1200 words in a day mm. you know what the average is for a woman 
No, I don't know. Will it be more or less? Will it be it's more or less? It's more. more because women are more talkative. <laughs> <laughs> right. You know how much, how, what is the average? No, I don't 7, know. 7,500 words a day. Oh my God, 7,500. <laughs> that's because, you know why that's, that, uh, you know the reason behind it. That's because no. women have seven centers to process language. Oh. Yes. Unlike men, mm, uh, uh, God is not being fair enough, right? <laughs> but <laughs> God rule are, uh, everything is uh, driven by God. And uh, mm. I, sometimes I wonder how uh, things are so uh, diverse. Uh, still, the uh, world is going on. So something... Uh -huh. <laughs> And uh, the first thing I need to tell you, uh, Shweta, is that you need to slow down. Slow down. Yeah. You have so much to talk up here that you're, you're rushing. Okay.